Hey, how's everybody doing today? Okay, I'm not sure if anybody else has had this problem. It, it isn't a major problem, but for me, it was kind of a little bit of an annoyance with the Thrustmaster F16 throttle. Now, once again, I, I really do like this thing. It, it works. It's fabulous the way it works. One of the issues that I was having with it, well, and I figured maybe this could help somebody out. I ended up picking up a 90 degree angle USB-C, but I found that this cable was really kind of wobbly when I put it in. I didn't like that too much, so I put a little piece of padding on it just figured it might be a good idea but the bigger issue was is when i was using this and i don't know if anyone else like i said has had this problem but when you're moving the throttle forward and back i kept running into the issue where it wouldn't stay in place the the baron on there no matter what i did for adjusting in the back with a little allen key it it's couldn't get it to stay in place it when it got too much on an angle it's a heavy throttle handle so it pulls down pretty easy so when i would get it on an angle it would always end up running into full throttle boom i mean I'm trying to like go down a runway and next thing you know, I'm F-16 jumps up to a 150 and I'm hitting the side of a wall. But same thing went for back. It wouldn't stay in place. So what I did, and you can see right here, is I took a micrometer and I measured out the bound size. The inner hole is just important as the outer diameter so i measured the inner and i wanted to add a little bit and see if i could get another wheel baron that would fit on it so i ended up finding a baron that was just slightly bigger i'm not even sure if it's probably less than a 16th but what a world of a difference now you don't want to get nothing too big because if you replace the baron and the way you would do that pretty simple you have one two three four five like six seven screws in the back you take it out remember to put your screws in a safe spot and you'll find a Phillips head screw probably around an inch and a quarter maybe an inch and a half long that goes through the handle I should have taken this apart to show people but it's pretty basic pretty simple it goes through the handle and you can see where the baron is uh, if I can get this any closer it's a new camera so I'm just getting used to using it don't mind me hitting the mic okay so there's the baron right there you take the screw out remember to leave this on an angle so the nut that holds it in place stays on the inside it's like in a little cup holds it in place but you don't want it to fall forward and get hung. it's pressed on there so you got to take a little screwdriver with the one that's on there and you got to kind of like give it a little wiggle not too hard because the bottom piece of this you don't want to snap it or scratch it or anything once you pop the Baron off, you take one of these, I guess it's called, the company's name is U-Cell, but it was the MR1052RS Deep Groove Ball Baron. Five millimeter in a diameter. That is the exact size of the one that came off of it. Remember, in a diameter. I ended up going, there was probably like an eight millimeter out of diameter for the outside and it's kind of weird the way let me see it says five millimeter in the diameter 10 millimeter out of diameter four four millimeter bore i guess the bore is the hole from the inside it's hard to explain with micrometers but anyways this is what you're seeing up here on the amazon page this is the baron that I replaced it with. So you can see, I guess, yeah, where they measure it from is the outer is where the lip is. Oh, the bore. Okay, bore in the width. All right, I get it. So it explains it all right here. 10 millimeter outer, five millimeter in it, inner and the four millimeter across it slides on it's a little snug but you can slide it on press it with your thumb get it in place replace the screw what i ended up getting was a much better i gotta be careful i don't get my fingers pulled down in between this all right i have to get it lined up perfect but what i ended up getting before i would get it say right here it would just fall boom fall right forward now it stays in place pretty much wherever i put it you can hear it has a little bit more of, of friction to it. So I know this isn't a great big video, but if there is anybody out there that's having a problem, I just want to let them know there is a cure for it. And it's right on Amazon. They're $9.49. I think that's about the smallest pack I could find was a pack of 10, 10 pieces. And you just follow those simple directions. Take off the back panel, pull off the, I want to say inch and a half screw that's goes into the handle. Take off the baron, slide the new baron in and replace the screw. Tighten it down, not too tight. Get it snug. Give it a little turn. Very little turn. It doesn't need much. And when you get it back on, you'll feel a huge difference. I imagine the Baron that came with it, when I looked at it, there was a noticeable size difference. 
and I was worried that the throttle might be a little bit too far forward and cause the plane to roll and part, but it just makes it. It just makes it. I mean, you could always mess with the curve a little bit too, but you won't have that issue with this Baron. So anyways, that about wraps it up. I just want to do a short, quick video saying how I fix this. I'm not sure if this is a problem that comes with all of these throttles, that the Baron is a little bit too small, and it took me a little while trying to figure out how I can stop this from falling forward. I couldn't I couldn't place it in one like I couldn't place it in one spot when I was flying or even on the ground without it falling forward or back. And yeah, that was in DCS, that can be really annoying. So after it was replaced, perfect. I can move it a little bit. Look at that. Stays right in place. A little bit. Stays right in place. No rolling. No rolling whatsoever. And it, the idle is fine. It's it doesn't start to creep forward on you at all or anything. So anyways, let's wrap this up. Minor video could be a big problem solver for somebody. I hope it is. So if you're new to the channel, remember to give me a like and don't forget to sub. If you're old to the channel, which I have a lot of great people that are on this channel, they're really helpful with all the feedback and I really want to thank you for all that. Remember to give this a like and share it with your friends. The channel's growing. You're all part of it. And without you, I couldn't do it. So thank you. We'll see you on the next video. I've got some great stuff coming up with a VR. I'm going with VR, the Varro Arrow. I'm going to be going with that headset. I've got the base stations coming. I'm going to do a how I set it up, where I set it up, what works best for me. And hopefully I really enjoy it. I think I'm really going to enjoy getting into the VR world. But we'll see what happens from there. I'm really looking forward to doing that review. So on the flip side, I hope this helps someone. And we'll see you on that next video. You guys get that? Peace. Have a good day.